<sighs> this update is really bad. I just can't wrap my head around how this would help the game at all or make more players want to play. First, they removed score for the younger audience so that it's easier for them to play. And then they just remove the option to make your cars go fast like the kids that want to play, like the kids are trying to attract to the game. So now they killed off the players that used to play the game because it was score. And now they killed off all the kids that wanted to play the game because there's fast cars. And in this update, they removed stuff that made this game original. And now with this update, you can't tune your gearbox to have a specific speed or a specific acceleration. And as you can see, my car is 1,356 horsepower when before it was like 2,000 horsepower or something. And I'm not exactly sure what they refunded, but I went from like 30 million to 84 million, so... 50 million in refunds. I think it was the aspirations because I had this on this car. And I also don't know what is better here. And I guess it doesn't really matter because it all gives the same stuff. But then why would they have both of them here? It doesn't even make sense. And as you can see, the max horsepower is 1,500 for every single car now. There's no reason to really buy all the cars, no reason to grind the game, no reason to do anything now. You could just buy the, the beginner car, max it out, and then you're done with the game. There's no reason to play anymore. And what a lot of people have been saying is that all these fixes that they've been doing are just fixing problems that they created with removing score, and this really feels like that. Like, they could have done way more if they just kept score and added some new things that you could do with it. With this horsepower cap, it makes it feel worse than other games that you can play on Roblox right now. And I feel like Drive World really has to try now because Driving Empire and some of these other games are actually putting out updates that players are actually enjoying and wanting to play compared to this. And heading to the shop, you can see that they changed this UI so you can see way more cars on screen at once. And there's this new car called the Rogue S, which is basically just the Rogue. Uh, it's going to be exactly the same because once you max it out, it's the exact same horsepower, the exact same speed. There's no reason to get any of these cars. I would show you the customizations on this, but it's bugged right now. And I somehow can't show you these really because it's kind of hard to do it. I think this only happens on the body kits, though. As we can see with this blade, it's below 1,500 horsepower, and if we drive it, it goes extremely slow. And this just makes the game feel extremely boring and repetitive. And it's so bad that I don't even feel like grinding these weekly challenges to check out this new comet. But I guess I can still show you the parts in case you do want to grind and get these challenges done to check out the new comet. But I don't know if I'm going to be doing it. Starting off with the first part, head over to this trailer delivery spot right next to the dealership. And you'll find it right here under the dealership. For the second part, head over to Car Wash. And behind this building, you'll see the second part. For the next part, head over to Skid Pad Figure 8. And right here, you'll see the third part. For the next part, head over to this place right here, Waterfall. And right down here, you'll see the next part. And for the very last part, head over to this place right here, South Forest. And right over here, you'll see the last part. I don't really know what to say. Um, I don't feel like playing the game anymore. And I have video ideas that I would like to do, but 
there's no reason for me to even put them out because I'm not going to get any views because no one wants to watch the game anymore. No one wants to play the game anymore. And I shouldn't really be putting out videos when the game brings out updates that I don't enjoy. So I guess I'm just going to have to wait and either find a new game. But there isn't any car games right now that are good. And I don't really like playing any other games on Roblox. And with that being said, I think that's me to end this video. It's going to be kind of short because I cannot be asked to grind the rest of these quests. Uh, the airless tires, they're kind of cool, but they're just tires and they look like they don't have air in them. And the Comet EX is just a wider Comet, so if you want that, you can go for it. And the Rat Rod is back, which it's already been back multiple times, so if you haven't got this, you can get it now.